Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am here with a fragrance net haul for you. So the this is two separate orders, so I do have quite a few things to go over in here. Um, like I say, I've got two separate orders in here. I do have two more orders coming, so I will do a separate haul when those orders get here. Um, I just want to preface this by saying, and this is coming from a place of love, <laughs> I don't want people to feel negative about this, but if you are somebody that is offended right now by anybody that is spending money through this pandemic, please click off this video now because this is not for you. Um, I am very thankful that I am able to continue to spend money on perfume, um, though I'm not spending money on anything else. I don't, and that's something that people should know about me. I don't have clothing. Like, I keep the same clothing for years and years. I don't buy clothing. I don't buy, and when I do, it's usually from thrift stores. Um, I don't buy shoes, jewelry, handbags, sunglasses, things like that. I'm not out there buying this stuff ever. Um, perfume and makeup is really my vice. It's the only thing I really buy a lot of and even then um, I've really slowed down on the makeup and I just purchase more perfume now and really because my YouTube channel has turned into a perfume channel which I am more than happy with. I enjoy perfume more than makeup. So, um, but with that being said, I understand that this is not a normal amount of perfume for somebody to have, for a normal person to have. Um, and I am in no way encouraging anybody to go out and purchase the, this many bottles of perfumes. Also know that I buy a lot of my perfume used on Mercari, on eBay. Um, I buy as much used perfume as I do new perfume. So I am not always buying new bottles of perfume. Um, usually when you see me do haul videos like this, this is the only time I'm purchasing new bottles of perfume. So with that being said, I, uh, I just don't want to get any more hateful comments about how I am contributing to consumerism and things like that because, um, you know, if you're not here for this, then please just don't watch this video. This isn't for you. I still love you. I still want you here. I still want you to watch my other videos if you are into it, but if you're not, please just don't watch this one because I would rather you just click off than get some kind of hateful comment. So, with that being said, I'm sorry that was a long intro. With that being said, let's just jump right into this. I've got a ton of stuff here. So I've really been in the mood for spring fragrances, for um, just lighter airy florals, lighter airy citruses. I'm really in to um, more spring, summer appropriate fragrances as I think we all are at this point. I got a little bit crazy and I bought a whole bunch of the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Flankers. They come out with a new one like every summer I think and I have, I've got three of them here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first one that I picked up is Light Blue Love in Capri. Love in Capri, I'm sorry. And I love this bottle because this came in a 0 .084 ounce bottle, just 25 mils. I love this. I wish all perfume companies would make smaller size bottles for those of us with large collections that do not need huge bottles of anything. Unless, you know, you want them. There's nothing wrong with wanting a big bottle of perfume, but I prefer to get like half ounce bottles if I can. Um, so Love and Capri is Mandarin, Lemon, Honeysuckle, Cedar, and Musk. And this one, though it smells really nice, it does not smell different enough from the original light blue for me to really even justify having it, except for the fact that I don't own the original light blue. Uh, this smells pretty much exactly like it, so I don't even feel like it's really a relevant flanker because it smells exactly like the original. Um, so yeah, I, if you already have the original light blue, you definitely do not need this one. It's not, um, it's not anything special. The second one I picked up is Dolce & Gabbana light blue and this is Sunset in Selena. So Sunset in Selena is fresh vine leaves, violet leaves, yellow freesia, jasmine, orange blossom, amber, cedar, and white musk. Now, <laughs> Uh, with the first one being very, very similar to light blue and smelling almost exactly like it, Sunset and Selena is something completely different. It doesn't smell like light blue to me at all. Um, I don't even smell the light blue DNA. This is very much about the violet, the vine leaves, the freesia is very strong in this one. 
um, the Orange Blossom. This is like a completely different <laughs> perfume altogether. Um, I wouldn't even associate this with light blue. So it seems to me like there's a fine balance and for, for what I'm looking for in a light blue flanker is I want it to have the light blue DNA, but I want it to smell different enough that, um, you know, it seems worth having. So with that being said, the third one was a charm. The third one, and it's the one that I got the least amount of, of course, this is, a uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Now this one is a winner. This is the one that I'm wearing today. I adore this. This has the light blue DNA, but it's got some added notes to it that bring a beautiful creaminess, a little touch of gourmand. Um, it's just gorgeous. So this is lemon, granny smith apple, ozonic notes, coconut nectar, jasmine, white rose, frangipani, ambergris, bourbon vanilla, cedar, and white musk. So you can see it's got the ambergris that's going to make it a little bit salty. It's got the coconut in it, but it's not like, it's not in any way an overwhelming coconut. This is a fragrance that like if you hate coconut, you probably won't even detect it in this because there's so many other things going on and you can really smell everything. You can smell the bourbon vanilla. You can smell the frangipani. Ugh, this one is just so gorgeous. So I feel like when I go through this small decant this summer, which I'm sure I will, um, I will be purchasing a full bottle of this one. And then the other, the other ones will probably unfortunately go up for sale. So, uh, with that being said, that is the end of it for my Dolce & Gabbana light blue flankers. Moving right along, the next one we have to talk about is Lalique Amethyst. So I have been wanting this for a while. My friend Jen sent over a decant of this, and when I tried it, um, I loved it. So I knew right then that I wanted a full bottle of it, and this is so, so inexpensive. This gorgeous, huge full bottle of this, which again, I don't need a huge bottle, but Oh, you guys, if you were looking for a good, deep, deep berry fragrance, this is for you. On my skin, this is the most true smelling currant fragrance I've ever smelled. Not black currant, which is a little bit sweeter, but actual regular currants, which are a little bit more tart. That's what this is. And then in the background, you've got a lot of those deep, dark, um, like forest berries. And then there's something almost, almost minty smelling in there. It's kind of herbal. It's just gorgeous and it does something gorgeous on my skin and it lasts forever on my skin. This is a really, really great performer. So amethyst is nutmeg, blackberry, blackcurrant, rose, pepper, peony, lily, ylang ylang, bourbon vanilla, and musk. Oh, it's so good. And I love bourbon vanilla as well. The dry down on this is beautiful, but on my skin, the kind of sharp green note sticks around with the currant and the berry. And is this current or black current? No, it is black current, but on my skin, it smells like regular current, not black current. So, um, yeah, this is a gorgeous one. I would highly recommend this one. It's so inexpensive too. You can pick up a bottle in the $20 range and I don't think anybody would just be disappointed with that one. It's really beautiful. Um, it's on the edge. Oh, and I just noticed on the bottle too, it's got like blackberry vines and there, if you can see it, like blackberry vines and like berries on it. It's gorgeous. But yeah, this one, I do think it would be a safe blind buy if you really like the smell of berries. Um, if it does on your skin what it does on my skin, I don't know if it would be a safe blind buy just because there's a very sharp kind of green herbal note that comes out in my skin or on my skin I'm sorry and I don't know that that would be everybody's cup of tea so they do I believe sell little carded samples of this on fragrance nut if you wanted to check them out before you purchased a full bottle or they may even offer the decant of it I'm not totally sure 
Okay, moving on. If I keep this up, we're going to be here forever. The next one I picked up, oh gosh, I've been wanting this one forever too. I wanted this one even before my friend sent me the decant of it, but she also sent me a decant of this. This is John Paul, John Paul Gaultier um, Labelle. So I knew that this was like a pear fragrance. The only thing about this is this is so hard <laughs> to get off. And every time I pull this off, I'm scared the perfume is just going to go flying. So this is a gorgeous, and it is a gorgeous pear fragrance. Ugh, I love this. The night that I sprayed this on, my husband was like, man, whatever you sprayed smells so good. So this is one that my husband loves as well. Um, this is stunning. I knew after I got that decant of it, I knew I needed a full bottle and I finally, um, this is not easy to come by and I think even on FragranceNet it's sold out right now. So, and I'm sad because I did get the smaller bottle, which I'm always happier to do, but mine doesn't have the beautiful collar of like flowers on it, but that's okay. It came with this little flower on the, around the neck. Still really beautiful bottle. But, oh, I love this. Okay. So LaBelle is three notes. Pear, vanilla, and vetiver. I mean, and it ends up being the most beautiful, creamy, vanilla pear fragrance. Oh my gosh, I love it so, so much. I'm so happy to finally have a full bottle of this. And I would highly recommend it to anybody and... I also do think it's a safe blind buy on this one. And the longevity on this one is pretty darn good. Um, it's not like fantastic. You're not going to get 8 to 10 hours out of it. But you're definitely going to get a good like 4 to 6 hours out of it or so before you probably will have to reapply it. So next one I got. So apparently I'm just going through all the ones that I got decants of. And from the decants it made me want a full bottle of them. So the next one I got is, this is a funny story because I would have absolutely never in a million years, this is, we're talking about Dolce & Gabbana Garden, I would have never in a million years purchased this on my own. Um, this, I remember when this fragrance came out, I remember thinking it probably smells like some kind of generic light wispy floral that lasts two hours on the skin and then is completely gone. I had no idea. So, and I remember when... Jennifer was asking me what samples I wanted her to send me. She was like, do you want Dolce & Gabbana Garden? And I was like, oh yeah, sure. I didn't really, it was kind of like, yeah, I mean, I would like to smell it, but I didn't think I was, it was going to be like a winner. Holy cow. When I smelled this, when I sprayed this on my skin, I was like, where have you been all my life? Why have I not wanted you in my life all this time? This is such a stunning fragrance. Gosh, nothing, I have nothing in my collection that smells like this. This is actually very, very unique smelling. It actually lasts really, really well on the skin. Again, not like an eight to 10 hour, but definitely a good four to six hours or probably six hours plus even, and probably even more on clothing. Oh my gosh, it smells so juicy and so fresh and so good. And thank you so much to Jen for <laughs> sending it to me because I love this. Garden is white flowers, mandarin, magnolia, neroli, frangipani, ylang ylang, coconut, vanilla, almond milk, and woods. And the combination of those flowers with the coconut and the frangipani, it smells like the most beautiful, juicy, wet garden fragrance and throw a little bit of coconut in it. It's sweet. It's feminine. It's beautiful. I love it so much. So that is Dolce & Bonnet Garden. Okay, the next couple that I picked up are ones that I picked up because I loved um, La Perla Mia so much that I wanted to, and a lot of people that I talk to like on a regular basis <laughs> that own Mia have, wanted, have been wanting to explore more from La Perla just to see if anything else is as good. So I picked up three more fragrances from the same, it's the La Perla Cole Collection. And the first one I picked up is Contemporary Tuberose. So this is gorgeous. This is another one that my husband really, really likes. When I wore this one, 
he gave me a compliment. He said I smelled really good. So, um, yeah, this is really, really beautiful. And these last really long on the skin. This one as well as the other one we're going to talk about. So... The third one I didn't order from Fragrance Set, so I'm going to leave that for like my monthly haul video and then just haul the ones that I obviously ordered from Fragrance Set in this video. Okay, so Contemporary Tuberose is Mandarin Orange Blossom Jasmine Tuberose Heliotrope. This next one, I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's some kind of a molecule, but this, it says Amyl, Amyl Salicylate salicylate, cashmere and cedar, and tonka bean. Ah, gorgeous. It's really, really beautiful. It's a beautiful tuberose without being too overly tuberose, if that makes any sense at all. And I'm starting to burn up right now because the sun is shining right on my back and then I've got lights shining right on my face. So if I start sweating, you guys, just know whew, that that is why it is getting hot in here. Okay, but I'm not going to stop. We're going to keep moving here. Okay, the next one is another La Perla one that I picked up, and this is the one that I really wanted more than any of the other ones. This is called White Iris. Oh, you guys, if you are into, like, powdery iris fragrances, this is such a good one because it's so... It's so well done. It's really, really well blended. Ugh, it lasts forever on the skin and clothing. It's just really gorgeous. White Iris is bergamot, violet, jasmine, heliotrope, orris, almonds, tonka, vanilla, and ambrox. I mean, ugh. violets, iris, heliotrope, vanilla, even ambrox I love. So, Ugh, I love this. It's really, really beautiful. If you guys are into powdery iris fragrances with heliotrope, um, things like that, like makeup smelling, but really, really well done. This is not like cheap makeup smelling. This is really, really well done. Then you would really like this and you can find it for really reasonable, like in the $30 range. So that is La Perla White Iris. Okay, the next couple that I picked up, I picked up because uh, subscribers... I had think a couple of you had recommended Salvador Dolly fragrances to me, which I had never tried. And I found on FragranceNet that they had some um, pen sprays of some of them, and they were really, really inexpensive. They were like $6 a piece in that range, and maybe even like $5 after a discount. But So I did pick up a couple of them just to kind of test them out and see how they are. The first one I picked up is called Eau de Ruby Lips, and... This one is really nice. Um, however, these do not last any time on the skin. I can spray them on and an hour later I can't smell them anymore. Either that or I really have to, you know, shove my nose into my skin to smell it. Um, but they are really nice. They're a really nice little, like, pick-me-up spray, something that you can spray on and you know you're just going to smell good. Especially this one. This is my favorite one. Eau de Ruby Lips is grapefruit, cotton flower, lily of the valley, pineapple, magnolia, honeysuckle, amber, musk, and cedar. Um, it's just really a little bit sweet. The cotton is really clean smelling. It's like a sweet, clean fragrance. It almost smells like shampoo. It's, it, def it does. It smells like shampoo. It smells like a beautiful, expensive shampoo. I really, really like this one. I think it's really nice. Um, I love what this one does on my skin. I would totally buy a full bottle of this just to have it. For, and even though you're not supposed to leave fragrances in the bathroom because of the heat and the steam and that kind of thing, but this is one of those that I would love to leave in the bathroom just to spray on when I got out of the shower because it smells so good. So anyways, that's a little $6 gem that I absolutely love. It smells like expensive shampoo, and I'm really glad I have this. The next one that I picked up is called Laguna. And this, as you can probably tell by the name, is more of a um, an aquatic fragrance. And this one lasts a little bit longer on the skin than the Eau de Ruby Lips. Uh, but this is less my cup of tea because I'm not really into aquatic scents. But for being an aquatic scent, it's a really nice one. 
it's got kind of like a creamy quality to the base um, and this one probably will last you a good four hours on the skin or something. Laguna is mandarin, grapefruit, peach, apricot, jasmine, rosewood, iris, lily of the valley, tonka, cedar, sorry, cedarwood, patchouli, and vanilla. So the tonka and the vanilla really create a nice kind of warm, creamy base, and then the cedar adds a little bit of woodiness to it. And so you've got that kind of going on in the base, and that's what you get in the dry down, really, with this one. It goes completely to the vanilla tonka and the cedar wood, and the kind of aquatic nature of it goes away. So you really only get the aquatic part of it in the um, top, kind of in the initial spray. And then it really dries down to more of a kind of creamy woody scent. It's not bad. I don't mind it, but it's just not, it's just not what I love, so... Um, that one I probably will not purchase a full bottle of, but the Eau de Ruby Lips, I probably will. If I go through that pen spray really quickly, then I could see myself buying a full bottle of it because they're really, really ex inexpensive too. So, Okay, the next one I picked up is, um, as soon as I bought that Dolce Garden and I loved it so much, I got on a kick. I wanted to try every single one of the... Uh, garden fragrances and I did pick up one that you will see no that you already saw sorry in my last month's haul this one is the garden floral drops and I just picked up a an atomizer because if I can ever just get it in an atomizer I always will unless it's one that I wanted a full bottle of um, this one I don't love this one I would never buy a full bottle of and I'm so glad I only got it in the atomizer so floral drops is neroli leaf papaya flower amaryllis, daffodils, water lily, cashmere, musk, and sandalwood. Um, this one has a much more... This you get a lot of the daffodil, the amaryllis. Um, gosh, it's hard to smell because my nose is so stuffed up from all the pollen. It's like stuffed up and running at the same time. But you get a lot of the daffodil and the amaryllis. If you're looking for one of, uh, like one of those florals that's more of a, um, kind of like a, an astringent, more uh, dry floral, kind of like, you know, how those, what is the word that I'm looking for? The way daffodils smell, the way hyacinth smells, the way amaryllis smells. Um, it's more of a crisp, clean, dry, um, like tart floral. That's what you're going to get with this, and those are not my favorite kinds of florals, and then, and I don't mind those if it's just that, like if it's a nice daffodil fragrance or a nice hyacinth fragrance, but those flowers mixed with the papaya or the papaya flower, and then the cashmere and the musk and the sandalwood, it's just a strange combination that it's adding a little sweetness to these really kind of dry tart or astringent smelling flowers and it's just the it's just not I just don't like it <laughs> so with that being said that's not one that I will be purchasing a full bottle of the next one that I picked up a decant of and I will be um per and I already purchased a full bottle of this I've got a full bottle coming in my next fragrance net order because as soon as I tried this I had to have it this is Jean-Paul Gaultier Essence de Parfum. So this is the Essence, um, Classique, sorry, Classique Essence. I love this one so much more than the original Classique. And so, yeah, I had to have a full bottle. So uh, Essence is Ginger, Sambac Jasmine, Orange Blossom, Precious Woods, Vanilla, and Chantilly Cream. And to me, this is a beautiful, creamy ginger fragrance. The ginger is super, super amped up in this. And then you're getting a little bit of sweetness from the orange blossom. And then the creaminess, a ton of creaminess from the Chantilly cream. It's just stunning. I love it so much. I had to have a full bottle, even though this isn't really the time of year for this. I don't care. I needed it for... Really, I just need to buy it before I forgot about it. And also, that's another one that's not easy to find. A lot of the um, 
For us here in the States, a lot of the Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances are really not easy to find. So I did find it. Um, I think, yeah, Fragrance Scent had it, thank goodness. And so I did grab it while I could, well, because I did find it. That's kind of how the label was too. Um, those aren't necessarily seasonally appropriate right now, but because I know that they're not easy to find and Fragrance Scent had them, and I'm so glad I got LaBelle because it's sold out on Fragrance Scent now. Um, when I saw them, I was like, I have to, I have to grab them now because I might not be able to get them again. Okay, the next one I picked up is one that I don't love, unfortunately. This is Paco Rabanne and this is Pure Excess. So this was a blind buy. Well, all of these, well, not all of them. I'm so proud, actually. Not all of them are blind buys because some of these I bought because of decants that I got, which I'm happy about that. But a lot of these are blind buys. This one is a blind buy. This bottle is stunning. Oh my gosh, this bottle is so beautiful. I love the ombre from like the pink up to the black and the gold around the black lid. It's just gorgeous. So this one, it smells good, but it just, there's not enough, enough depth to this one. There's not enough going on in this for, for it to be kind of a, and this is definitely a fall winter fragrance too. This is not spring summer in any way. But for it to be kind of one of those deeper, creamier, it's supposed to be a little bit spicier kind of things, it's just, there's, it's just flat, if that makes any sense. It's just very flat on my skin. Um, it doesn't develop at all. It gets a little bit sweeter and a little bit creamier as I wear it, but nothing interesting is happening. So, Pure Excess is Ylang Ylang Vanilla. It has a popcorn note, sandalwood, and ambrette seeds. But for this to have so much sandalwood in the base, I'm not getting a lot of the sandalwood. I guess I'm getting a little bit of that popcorn note, but that's another thing. I don't smell like a lot of, I guess what I'm supposed to be smelling. I don't know. This is one that I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to wait until it gets cooler because this isn't the time of year for this and it's probably not going to smell right right now. So I'm not going to judge this one too harshly yet. I'm going to give this a go when it gets colder and we'll see how it goes then. So the next one, however, though, is another Paco Rabanne. On the other hand, is a love. This is Olympia Legend and I already have Olympia Intense, which that one, it does something weird on my skin. The, I found that the really, really strong salty vanilla fragrances, the ones that really, really last well, um, like Olympia Intense and like the Kenzo World Power, those ones do something funky on my skin. So um, I like them. I love the way they smell, especially out of the bottle, but just on my skin, they don't work very well. But this little baby on the other hand, is gorgeous. This is Olympia Legend, like I said. So this is a flanker of Olympia. I love the bottle on this one too. It's beautiful. It's this beautiful, I can't get my ring light to not reflect in it, but it's, um, it's this beautiful, like clear, it goes from clear to pink and the gold writing. And again, the gold around the lid, it's just gorgeous. And I'm so happy I was able to find a small bottle of this. This is just a small 30 ml bottle, I think. one ounce. So this is the salty vanilla. Oh, but there's something else in here. So this is sea salt plum. It's the plum. Oh gosh. Oh, sea salt plum, apricot, ginger flower, and floral notes, uh, vanilla, amber, sand, and tonka bean. So that's another thing I have found that I love fragrances with a sand note in them. The Nikki Beach uh, beat, or par beach party for her or whatever that I, that has a sand note in it and it's so beautiful. Yeah, the apricot, the plum, the salty vanilla and the sand. It's just, it's really, really unique smelling. This kind of rem reminds me of my Nikki Beach fragrance, but totally different because this has a fruity a fruity aspect to it because of the plum and the apricot. So 
really really gorgeous I really really love this one this also lasts absolutely forever on the skin on clothing it's a really great performer and really beautiful for it this time of year so again that is Paco Rabanne Olympia Legend And last but not least, we're going to talk about a little baby mini that I picked up. I've been wanting to try this fragrance absolutely forever. This is Val Valentino Donna Aqua, and I just got a little baby. Um, this is another one that's not super easy to find, so, or it's not super easy to find uh, without paying, like overpaying for it. Oh, but I love this. I'm going to have to find a full bottle of this because I absolutely adore this. This is Pear, Almond, Jasmine, Frangipani, Hawthorne, and Sandalwood. It's gorgeous. The pear is sweet and beautiful but not overpowering. And you've got a little bit of the powdery almond. Oh, the Frangipani. It's just stunning. I love it. A little bit of woodiness, but not in any way overpowering um, from the Hawthorne and the Sandalwood. It's just gorgeous, but this one doesn't last great on the skin, and because of that and because of how expensive it is, I'm going to wait until I find a good price um, for this because I don't want to overspend on something that I'm going to have to reapply like four times in a day <laughs> to keep smelling it. So. Anyways, guys, I, as always, um, will have links below for all of these, and uh, yeah, if you have never shopped on Fragrance Nut before, definitely check it out. They've got a massive selection. It's always the first place that I go when I'm looking for perfume because they have a huge selection. 99% of the time they're going to have what you're looking for, and it's going to be the best price that you're going to find on the internet, and I've never, ever gotten anything that was not 100% authentic from them. Um, it's, they're just a really good website. I've had people ask me how long it takes to ship. They've heard that they take a long time, a long time to ship. That is not true. Um, maybe in the past, but not anymore. They, you'll definitely have from the time you place your order and, um, they ship it. You're, from the time you place your order and the time you receive it will probably be a week or less. So they, it does not take long to ship. I will also tell you their customer service is excellent. They, I know during this time, especially the pandemic, I know that they're up and running uh, at full speed now. They've got, I'm pretty sure, all their customer service agents back. Everything is back and running uh, like normal, like before the pandemic. But when I ordered these, they were working like on a skeleton crew and they still had my orders to me within a week. They also, um, one of my decants, because I ordered Dolce & Gabbana Peony, which you will see in the next um, haul because I ordered a full bottle of it because I, um, even though my decant had completely leaked in shipment, I could still smell it and I knew immediately that I wanted it and so I just went ahead and ordered a full bottle. But I emailed customer service and I told them that my decant had leaked and they very quickly got back to me within 24 hours and then they also very quickly refunded me for it so um, my experience with customer service has been really good so i always get these questions when i do a fragrance net video so i always try to address them um, anyways with that being said i will link everything down in the description box with links to the products just for your convenience and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It's really helping me out right now. And I hope not too many ads ran on this. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.